Now work is underway to keep drivers safe on 35W. John Croman shows us the project happening under the interstate. You've no doubt driven past it along 35W south of downtown Minneapolis for the past four years, but the real action is 85 feet below the surface. Uh, so each tank has an outside diameter of 53 feet, uh, inside diameter of 42 feet. MnDOT's been building a massive stormwater storage system, six huge tanks side by side. Tim Nelson is the project engineer. Uh, when the pipe backs up a little bit, uh, it'll go over a what we call a weir pipe, and it's basically essentially a half pipe, and so the water will overtop that and come crashing down at the first tank there, and then all of it is sloped here to the north, and the water will flow that way, and then when the storm event is over, we'll turn on our pumps. It's about avoiding the freeway flooding events from the past, including this epic 35W gusher caught on traffic cam. The entire project, we're using about 25,000 cubic yards of concrete. 25,000? 25,000 cubic yards. And the contractors have had to work in a very narrow space between the freeway and a retaining wall. Um, but our contractor with Kramer Nicholson Joint Venture has been excellent to work with and uh, able to uh, attack all these complications to build a nice concrete structure that's nice and straight. And when this project is wrapped up later this fall, the crew won't be able to point to it and say, hey, I built that because for the most part, it's going to be underground. A classic example of what some people call the submerged state. Your tax dollars at work, but out of sight and out of mind. In Minneapolis, John Croman, Care 11 News.